Hey everybody, I'm Gabby and this is RVs with Gabby. If you are into camping and traveling, if you love RV life too, RVs with Gabby is the right channel for you. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching my content. If you love my videos, please don't forget to hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that notification bell so you never miss another walk around video. By the way, I work in sales out of Blue Compass RV of Orlando in Castleberry off I-4 exit 90 uh, on Semarin Boulevard or State Road 436. If you are in the market for an RV, I am in sales. And yes, I do these videos on the side as part of my marketing tactics for my sales career. So definitely hit me up if you're in the market. I've had several customers come up to me at the stores like, I love your videos. I watch your videos. I bought from somebody else. And I'm like, hey, I sell them too. <laughs> but we are here at the Tampa Super Show. It is day two. As you can see, it's pretty early in the morning. There's barely anybody around, but I wanted to pop over here 30 minutes before the show started or 30 minutes before our meeting, 45 minutes before the show. So I'm here at 7.30 and the show opens at nine. That's how much I love you guys. And we have the new Granite Ridge. Now, I know everybody's gone over this product. You've probably seen like 15 videos already because I'm sure people did it on Tuesday. Uh, I arrived later on Tuesday, I couldn't shoot it. And obviously I was busy trying to sell yesterday. So congratulations to the people that bought from me. Uh, so excited for you to come pick up your 27A Elante next week at the Orlando store. And without further ado, let's jump into the new Granite Ridge. All right, here she is and she looks gorgeous. Now, if you've seen the original video from Jayco of this product, then you'll notice a couple of changes between that video and this one. And then further production, there's gonna be a slight change up front on this uh, wing right here because it's a Ford decision really, but the flap, the fiberglass flap on the wing is actually gonna come around a more seamless look. And you're still gonna get this, uh, you know, metal divider that kind of kind of helps alleviate the difference between the silver chassis and then the white house but uh gonna look a little different from this video any further production afterwards but i wanted to point that out before i get into it okay biggest thing right we finally have a ford transit 350 hd all-wheel drive gas engine up here it is all-wheel drive folks and also what we've done is you have the black rims with the all-terrain tire standard which is awesome okay no uh, need to go and get those upgraded aftermarket i know some brands are doing that for you so jaco added those standard you have up front in this cap they noticed that the competition had a lot of issues with noise in that cap so what they did was they added a layer of what's called hush mat it looks like chewed up denim like your jeans rolled out onto a mat and they basically um, glue that on the inside of the cap and then they put their fiberglass batten insulation and as a result you have a lot a lot quieter ride in the cab but also a lot better on the ambient temperature inside the coach while we're talking about temperature this has the timberline hydronic heating system which also runs off of your gas tank Okay, great, great feature. This heating system can heat your coach 40 degrees in 50 minutes, all right? So if you're unsure about the Timberline system, I challenge you on it, okay? It is a great system, really efficient, and this Granite Ridge is really built to go anywhere. You have a two inch lift kit on the front and the back. I forget the name, I'll put it down below, the name of the company that that is by. It's a very popular company. And then moving along down the side of the coach, the graphics are standard. You can option to delete those. You can also option to delete the awning, which has a wind sensor built in. You have the rack standard on the roof. And then coming around the other side of the back end of the coach, you have this awning, which was uh, we optioned that in as well. And you can see that this one has been optioned with Starlink. So that's another option for you if you don't need it or don't want it. And moving around here, the last one is going to be the outside kitchen. This is an optional feature. And I will come back and shoot a video once it is open and ready for the show for the day. But you have a sink, you have a propane cooktop, and you have your Dometic fridge freezer. You do have the propane right here. That is only a 20 pound propane tank. It's only for this cooktop. When we go inside, you'll see there's a portable induction cooktop. And this is going to have a dual charging system. You've got a 3,900 watt kilowatt hours of power on a lithium system, and you have a 2,800 uh, kilowatt generator. 
hold on, I got I got two hands. Let me open up this bay so you can see the awesome storage. All right, check it out. You have this amazing pass-through storage bay. It is heated, okay? And they've added these racks on either side so you can have attachments. You can put your gear in here. You've got a net. You've also got another rack for attachments on the inside. This is your ladder for your um, for getting on the roof to the, that rack there. It's stored in here. There's some L-Track mechanisms down here so you can buy different tie-downs for your different gear. And this is just a really, really huge pass-through bay. Now, I don't have anybody to take my camera and record me, but you could fit about four or five Gabbies stacked on top of each other in there. <laughs> so great, great feature. And I love that it's heated, okay? This, this coach is meant for all weather. So not only do you have the Timberline Hydronics heating system, you have the heated bays. Your tanks are heated. They are enclosed and heated. And like I said, front and rear lift, kit the last thing i want to point out is the two inch thick walls so these walls are thicker than our average class c's they are insulated more thereby you can go into cooler climates so again they're really considering the fact that you want to disappear you want to go to alaska you want to really hit the road and you want to experience all really truly all weather camping total length of this baby is 22 feet 11 inches and i'll start up front here let me turn around for you cab overhead this is the one i was talking about that has that hush mat in there you have a really intricate looking uh center console i'm sure there's somebody on youtube that's going to go over that i don't have the keys right now to do that but front end on this ford tra transit looks awesome and you do have i mean all of the loaded safety features right adaptive cruise control a, a, a lane keeping assist collision mitigation forward collision warning um you know the rear park assist with the with the camera you have the um, auto rain sensing wipers so whatever you need up there you probably have if you have it in your vehicle you probably have it in here okay up here the tv is also an option if you decide you do not want the tv and you delete it they do add an additional cubby for storage up there so it's not just a wasted space uh, like some of the competition is doing up here metal cover that's really nice covering your skylight there so when you want to let more light in you can do that and then these windows actually pop all the way open and same system like we have on our new Jayco motorhomes there is a shade down here which is it is a little different color than the than the Jayco's but are the class A's white shade so for the blackout and then you have your net day shade screen for bugs because when you open that window this is your screen folks there isn't a second window there all right storage up ahead, up on top all these buttons pull out nice struts there they're super strong don't have to worry about that it all looks really really nice and then coolest feature and i wish i had somebody here to show you this is like so i could show you on my camera but check this out i could pull this bit, table out i could tr i could actually push it all the way up against there I could push it back it swivels like always so it'll go left right up down and what's really neat is you can turn these two chairs around I think I'm at the edge of there <laughs> um turn these two chairs around move that table over this way right and then you can see all four people and comfortably eat at your table together so that's a really great feature here you also have four seat belts now this is really meant to sleep two people i mean if you've got um two adults and two young kids maybe you can all cuddle up on the bed in the rear but i just wanted to let you know there is a car seat tether here as well so that's great and then uh power management system is right here because it is a 30 amp service this is your timberline controls and up here is your firefly master system as always you can uh control everything from your phone so your lights your awnings for this one ac if you're close by you can control it through bluetooth on your phone all right countertop What's missing, guys? Our propane cooktop is missing. This is to limit the propane use, right? I said you only need that propane tank for the exterior, so you don't have to worry about filling it. Also, limited counter space in this model. So they gave you as much storage as they could, and then they decided to put the cooktop uh, away in one of the drawers. So you have a portable induction cooktop. You can take it out and cook when you want to. You can put it away when you don't need it. Again, a window that opens here in the kitchen for ventilation, so that's great. And then you have that removable JBL speaker. I, guys, I mean, somebody pointed it out to me, like, it's really not that expensive of an upgrade, but it's a great little feature that they built into the unit, like here. Even Airstream's doing this on the range line. Like, here's a radio that functions inside your unit, and then when you want to leave, you're not leaving the music behind, right? If you like to listen to music 
hopefully you're not hiking around other people and you're being respectful of people's space <laughs> in the wilderness. But if you like to listen to music when you walk, you can grab that speaker and head on out for a hike. Sorry, people are starting to arrive and they opened the door on me. Uh, convection microwave up here. Not that big, right? But you can bake things in here. It's got that convection option. Comment down below and let me know if you use your convection microwave and if you like it, you dislike it, what are the feedback? Because I get mixed reviews from people. Some people don't use it. Some people like it. Anyway, moving into the bathroom. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me show you the fridge while we're here. So opening this fridge, fairly decent sized fridge for the size of the unit. I mean, you're 22 feet and 11 inches total length and you've got a pretty nice long fridge and then you have this freezer which actually pops it down like that so by Norcold it is 12 volt and then moving along to the bathroom here all right here is the part so this bath door locks right there you've got a shower uh a shower curtain here so true privacy there if you want to leave this door open and then close that to shower. And then inside the shower, it is a true wet bath, guys. You have a very big freshwater tank, a very big gray water tank. Should be around 50 something gallons for both. I'll, I'll put it down below. And then this is your actual wet bath. Now, you have a, a um, cassette, remember the, the poop case <laughs> toilet. So it is 4.75 gallon and you do have to dump that out. But what's really neat is check out the way that the toilet is facing. So this is just like their other class B model. And now it's on the tip of my tongue and I can't remember, but the, oh, the terrain, but the toilet actually moves. So there's a locking mechanism right here. And if you unlock it, you can then swivel the toilet around. Now, honestly, it's, a, I mean, that's the problem with most of these class B vans, right? Is you have no leg room and you have no shoulder room. So this allows it to be completely movable to whatever position is best for you. So you can sit this way, you can stretch out, you've got plenty of room, and then you can shower in here as well as wash up and get ready in the morning. Your sink is right here, pops right out like that. And hey there, little mirror. This does have, it has hinges, but I mean, all right, it does open, but the magnet was super strong. And I don't know about you, but early in the morning, my fingers are not super strong. So I couldn't get it open with my left hand, but open it with both hands. There's a little bit of a medicine cabinet back here. So that's, that's nice. That's built in. I didn't even notice that. And then you do have a shower miser on board, right? Do not use your shower miser. If you're connected to city water, it will, um, like sh stream water out of this hose the wrong way. Okay. Cause it's, it's too much pressure. You only want to use your shower miser when you are, when you're boondocking and you have your fresh water tank filled and your water pump on. And I would definitely, definitely go watch my video on the shower miser under a feature and benefit Friday. If you have not already to go over what that shower miser, all the features on that shower miser. All right. We're almost to the end guys. And I got to go for my meeting, stepping up into the bed. Check it out. You've got windows all around. So wherever you're parked, wherever your view is, you can see it basically 360. You have a nice big step up here and this is gonna be two twin beds if you're angry and one basically king bed if you're getting along, right? <laughs> so this insert has a hard bottom and you would take it and flip it over much easier with two hands. So that's what your bed looks like down below. I'll put the exact measurements, but it is massive. And you know, that storage bay that's down below, this is, this is amazing because they're able to give you that huge storage bay, give you some shelving and give you lots of view of your campground, wherever you're parked and still manage a very large bed. You know, one of the negatives of the corner bed is it's hard to climb over each other. One of the negatives of the beds on the slides is they close and fold up and you can't access them. So this is a, a, just a fantastic use of space in my opinion. And it has been well received. We've already sold one yesterday. This exact one here at the show is still available. It's got a great price tag on it. So give me a call. I'll put my information down below if you're interested and we can get you one, uh, you know, this one at the show or we can get you a good price on an order. But that pretty much covers the Granite Ridge. Beautiful motorhome. And the best part is that this is how it is all the time, 24 seven. There's no slide out. So there's no need for you to watch this video to the end because you don't, there's nothing for me to close. But if you're still here, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, happy camping.